everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for the um, fan sounds. I have to have it on. I can't turn it off, otherwise it's too hot. So yeah, so anyways, today I wanted to talk about Screen Queens by Lori Goldstein. So this is one of the Dollar Tree books that I found a while ago, and I wanted to talk about it, so that's why I'm doing a review. <laughs> um, but this book, I was concerned about at first because I was con I was worried that there was going to be a lot of petty drama because it's about um, these girls, Lucy, Maddie, and Delia, I think, or. I, I, that's how I pronounce your name anyways. I don't know how it's actually pronounced, but um, they're, um, These girls are all in this competition um, for uh, a company called Valley Start. I don't I don't know if that's an actual thing or not. Apparently the um, what's it called? I don't know, but I heard another thing that was from this book or was mentioned in this book also referenced in something else it's like it was a thing that actually exists apparently um, so I don't know if Valley Start is an actual program or not but anyways um, so basically the competition gets groups of three to come up with this app and the winning people the winning group that um, makes the best app uh, gets this internship um, at the same company that um, has, it, it's part of like another app that's called Pulse and um, it's basically like this big popularity thing and like the more hearts that you have on your profile it's like the more popular you are you get like more sponsorships and stuff like that so it's I don't know it's it's kind of a weird mix of about with like Instagram and other apps like that like it's a social media thing but it's also very competitive so that was interesting um, and also on the front if you, it says if you can't join them beat them so I was I had my concerns with this being very very petty um, but I was actually surprised by this book. It is petty drama for about the first half, um, you know, because these girls don't know each other until they meet at the, the program. Um, and one is a, um, she's more of like the, the marketing, like she's very good at selling a product kind of deal. She's very, um, kind of charismatic in that way, and that's Lucy. And then Maddie is a um, graphic designer, and Delia is the coder. Um, so, you know, they, they kind of, they clash quite a bit. Um, Lucy's kind of more of like this pretty girl and like having it all together. I shouldn't say pretty girl, because they're all pretty, but like preppy, that's the, that's the word. <laughs> I don't know why I said pretty. I think I started to say preppy and then it changed it to something else. I don't know. Anyways, forgive me. Um, and then, yeah, they're, they're all kind of very different from each other. And so, you know, there's a lot of clashing there. But this book actually really surprised me. It, and <laughs> I keep saying that. Now I'll explain why. Um, after beating around the bush for so long. <laughs> it surprised me because it actually brings up topics around um, sexual assault. So it does have that in here. So please be aware of that. Um, what chapter was that in? So the, um, the scene with sexual assault is in chapter 19. Um, and it happens kind of around the middle of the chapter um, and there are some things about the character who does it that kind of make you feel like okay this dude's kind of sketch um, but it did still take me by surprise I wasn't expecting that um, and if you want to get technical you can throw in kidnapping um, she gets away real quick um, 
but it could still be a problem for a lot of people. Um, it wasn't a problem for me personally because it was so over, <laughs> over so quickly. Um, but for a lot of people that is a very sensitive thing, especially when you're going into a book like this where you don't fully expect it. Um, but afterwards it brought up a, l really, a, a lot of really good points on um, the complications of reporting something like that because the, the guy who does it, he is in a position of power. So it's, um, it's hard to kind of gauge that a lot of the times as women. So um, it brought up a lot of good conversations about that and why a lot of women don't report it and why a lot of women do and the kind of flip flop that kind of goes on in our heads um, because of it. Because it's like, well, we sh I should do it, but I shouldn't because of this, that, and the other thing. And you know, it gets really complicated. And I think this book did a really good job of doing that. Um, and exploring that. But the one thing that I didn't like about that is that it wasn't ex it wasn't used as the climax of the book, which was nice. Um, I'm glad the author didn't do that. But um, it did kind of use it as, I think it's called the inciting incident, um, where it kind of like really kicks the plot into gear. Um, and so, like, it advances the plot, which is, it, it's a good use of something like that being listed in, a, being, like, written in a book, because it's not just for shock value, which is so nice, but my problem with it is that the, the girls kind of, they're still not liking each other, and then that's the thing that kind of makes them really connect and work together. And I just wish there would have been a bit more of a of a connection um, before that happened. And while yes, I know that like something like that can bring girls together, whether they're friends or not, I understand that. I just I don't know about how I feel about it in fiction. If this was like a memoir, that would be a completely different story. But when it's in fiction, I don't necessarily like stuff like that because it's I, I feel like it kind of encourages this idea that something like that kind of puts all other conflict aside which again in some circumstances it does but I don't I don't know how I feel about that it's kind of like a a tricky thing because it's like while yes that can be realistic in a lot of ways it's also the fact that like you know some people take it too far though and they, you know they kind of I don't know you know what I'm not gonna get into it <laughs> I was gonna and then I realized I can't word it properly so I'm not going to um, <laughs> but anyways so the, and then the rest of the book kind is kind of about how they the girls kind of navigate that and work together on that um, and yeah, it got it got interesting near the end. I liked the ending. Um, so overall, I liked this book, and I do recommend it. I think on Goodreads I gave it four out of five stars. Um, so I do definitely recommend it, especially if you are looking for something that's a little bit more light. It doesn't go too dark. So if you want something that has like substance you know, of a plot and with characters and stuff like that, but not too dark. Um, this would be a good option. Um, the characters I did find a little bit bland, but um, it's also kind of understandable because of the setting. Um, and also, I realized I forgot to mention, this book kind of alternates chapters for each of the girls' um, perspectives. So it's three pr perspectives. Um, Lucy, Delia, and what's the other girl's name? Maddie. I thought it was Kate for some reason, but that's not right. Maybe Kate is another character in the book. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so I don't have a whole lot of thoughts on this, so a bit of a shorter review, but you know what? Some of my reviews have been longer this past little bit, so I think a short one's a good change of pace. Um, but yeah, that was my thoughts. Uh, I do recommend it.
and um, if you like this video, I uh, hope to see you in my next video.